A very warm welcome and a good evening to yet another exciting and informative episode of our technology show Innovate. Here we bring you nothing but the best from the world of technology, both here in Uganda as well as globally with me, Brenda Kimbabazi. But first, let's take a sneak peek of what we have on the show for you today. Well, today Innovate comes to you from an art gallery, not an ordinary art gallery that you have seen in town, maybe, but this is an art gallery where these two young minds settle their art on doing mosaic. I mean, you can see ropes, you see fiber, you see wood, you see dinner shells, this is bead and this is glass. Well, why should I spoil the fun for you? I meet these two young artists who tell us how they've made a great trend in making a new art. Training. Beads provide a satisfying medium for making mosaics with the hassles of snipping the tile or glass and dealing with the sharp edges. This is a, a mosaic. I basically deal with mosaic. And this kind of art is called mosaic. And I do lots of mosaic. And with mosaic, it's different. You know, there is a bead mosaic, there is glass mosaic, there is fiber. And there are also others, but I basically deal with uh, glass and uh, bit. From the time this duo got done with the university, they started on doing art, but only started mosaic art a few years ago. Yes, I've uh, gone to school and I have a, bachelor, a bachelor's degree in uh, industrial and fine art. Uh, but this, with this, I didn't learn from school. I just got the idea with my friend, Mike Sozi. Uh, we had, actually, we had visited a friend, and he was dealing with beads, who was into jewelry. But then we found that we could use the beads to the paintings and some other different stuff. So that's how we came up with this. From the simplest of things around us, like gin shells, siso, and fiber, Jagin and Michael make beautiful art. Everything that comes my way, everything that we go on picking, around our community is what we use to make a beautiful art piece. Like you've seen uh, shells, it is basically mixed media uh, and these we get uh, around our community. For anybody that loves art, mosaic art is your bet, a unique trend of art. Depending on the type of art piece and details, it can take up to six months to make a single art piece. It depends on the piece. There are pieces that will take you like uh, a month, then there are those that will take you uh, two months, then there are those that will take you even uh, a year, uh, depending on the size and depending on the image you're doing. Yeah, there are pieces that are small in size, like uh, this kind of piece. This is uh, basically about uh, animal and uh, environmental conservation. This will take you around uh, three weeks to, f to a month to complete. Then there are those that are this kind of size, like this glass here. It's also difficult when you're doing it, but this will take you like around uh, one month or one month and a half. Yeah. Then like uh, these portraits here, these are more, the most difficult uh, pieces done because they involve a lot of details. You know? So this will take you like around uh, two months to two months and a half, even three months. Starting from a sketch on a board to the final art piece, Jagen shares with us how it's done. First of all, uh, I have to go to the, uh, to, the, to the market. I pick a few items that I need. Uh, I pick uh, boards, the boards that I basically use. These boards here. I get them from town. Then I go to the shops. I buy bits, I go to town. I go to, to markets where they sell glue, basically everything that I need. I have to go to town, then pick it from there, then come, sit down, then I begin. But first of all, I use a, a board with paint, then I sketch. After sketching, then I have to do the outlining. Then after the outlining, then I have to apply the colors. Then after applying the colors, when it's done like this, then I take it for framing like this here. Then there is ready for the market here. Yeah. 
from time memorial art has been in existence but has transitioned over time if you look at uh, art history of uganda and uh, art today there's a lot of a big difference and a lot of uh, innovate, in, innovating innovative skills and um, because uh, way back you, you couldn't find this kind of such a work. But um, um, if you look at uh, artworks of long time, basically there were mosaic was for uh, banana leaves. Yeah, but now we try to move a step forward and uh, we, 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 we try to work with uh, the beads and the glass. The world is changing. Hey, those days, we used to work when we are going to school, but these days you see kids are driving themselves to school. So like, there are many artists who are still painting, and that's common, you know. I myself paint with my brother Sozi. We do the painting, but we don't do it usually. Most, we have to put something that is unique on the market. And people and what people like most. So like that's why we chose a, a glass to use glass and also a bit so that it is not common. I mean so that it is a, it is it is unique and not easily found on market. Ugandans are slowly appreciating art, but of course this comes with a number of challenges. The price ranges for these art pieces differ from one piece to another. It depends on the piece also. Like this piece will go for around uh, 320 to 400. Then this piece here, the portraits here, the portraits here will go for around uh, uh, one and a half million to two million. Then these other pieces like this size here, they will go for around 800 to a million. Yeah, it depends. Michael and Jagen mainly use glass and beads to make these beautiful art pieces. And the kind of art we make is um, termed as a glass um, or bead mosaic. <coughs> Basically, we deal with uh, glass and uh, beads in particular, and other different materials. Anything around us is raw material for this duo as they make mosaic art. Whatever, whatever we put in the artwork, it's not that um, just for beauty, but then um, they represent something. Yeah, because uh, if you look at this artwork, these um, in Luganda you can Way back, they used to call them in Sumbi. They used to keep granites. Yeah, that's why we put something like this to portray that image. Uh, the use of the of the Sumbi way back. Yeah, so everything we put has a hidden meaning. And uh, if someone really got like someone uh, used that thing way back. And it gets to look at the artwork. We yeah, can relate on what we use and what they used to use the Nsumbi web back and the image we're trying to portray today. I was amazed by the quality of art that can be made from the simplest of materials. And Michael shares with us the same on feedback from the people that have actually seen or even purchased these art pieces. Yeah, they really appreciate our work. Because we've traveled to different art galleries. Yeah, last last week we went to Tanzania. It's a uh, it's called uh, Culture Heritage. It's a gallery, but uh, we took a few pieces. But they really appreciated our work. I think I feel we are doing something good, something great, and I think. Everyone who will try to, 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 everyone who sees the work we do tries to appreciate. But what drove the inspiration for this duo to do mosaic art? What inspires me is um, first what 
inspired us. You know, when you're in school, <coughs> you get a lot of inspirations. Yeah. So when you look at this, this is a glass work. This I got inspired from um, a gentleman called. Uh, he's also an artist. He's uh, called Mr. Monge Chaze. He's a fabricator of uh, stained glass. That I think you see those stained glasses in uh, in churches. Yeah. So he's actually my lecturer. So I got. We got uh, me and my, my my friend Chigundu. We got the inspiration of glasses from him. But we got to cut the small. We got to we, we got to cut the, the glasses into small small pieces. Not like him. Like um, he's making a big piece to put in a church to create an image. But we create. We wanted to 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 make it smaller in order to fit them on the to bring to bring the information on a small board. Yeah. What makes the mosaic art worth looking at is that the artist successfully uses glass beads with ordinary flat glass tile to give the surface texture and depth. You buy different glasses. After buying different glasses, you cut them. There is a glass cutter, a unique glass cutter which breaks such kind of glass. After cutting different glasses, then you start arranging them in, into an artwork. These young minds hope to build a big art gallery here in Uganda and also train the youth in glass and bead mosaic. Innova takes a very short break but we return with much more from the field of technology.